Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olene's.com Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 20, the manual punch tool. There is no other tool that you will use as much as the manual punch once you learn how to use it and what the potential of it is. When I first started, I have to admit, it was one of the most difficult tools for me to understand. But I'm going to hopefully save you some of that uh, headache. You'll find the manual punch tool under the Home tab. As you notice, I have placed mine in my Quick Access Toolbar as explained in Lesson 1 so that if I'm on other tabs, I can still find it without having to go twice, click the Home and then the manual punch and then choosing the tool I want. I'm going to start with the straight uh, manual punch and I'm going to click and as I click I say top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. The reason why I do this is so that when I go bottom, top, and then when I get to the end stitch you're going to double click it and that completes it. I say top, bottom so I can remember my place because sometimes you'll be going uh, all around an object if you use this as an outline, a zigzag outline and it's hard to remember where you start it and end it. Uh, you can also use the curved manual punch and uh, once again top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom and to end it I'm going to go top, double click and uh, that gives a curved line. Now as with all of your designs you can use your uh, edit tool and we'll select it and we can move these uh, line so that they'll be straighter or you can uh, move them any way you want. But uh, the manual punch tool has a lot of uh, different applications. I use it often to outline say a cartoony type looking character with a very very narrow. Uh, there are other things you can do with it in sewing attributes which I will go to in another lesson.